Hello everyone, uh, this is part 9 of my Neverwhere project in City Skylines. Now I have a confession to make. I managed to screw up the operation of the screen recording software that I'm using. Not quite sure what I did, whether the uh, start uh, Um, start sequence failed or the uh, uh, or, or something else went wrong but what I did in the uh, previous work that I managed not to get a good recording of is I relocated this rail line and elevated it through here and I did that so that all these little roads could cross it without a traffic bottleneck. And that get, allows this rail access here to work and uh, the traffic within here to work much better. Um, I also extended this uh, main through fare out and linked it up down into this area here. Now that's taken some traffic, which is helpful. Uh, I also discovered that I was having issues with the buildings in here, and when I looked closer I found out that I had a train traffic jam over here, uh, where the trains would park and get all the way back, even as far as here, or even here, and block the crossroads. Now, um, at first, I thought I could just uh, bridge the main line here, uh, which ended here, uh, with all of the uh, crossroads, and it did help, but I still had a bottleneck on the trains around here. Uh, so what I did is I made a loop coming off the station so that the trains coming back up this way uh, didn't need to come back through this same Y switch here. I also uh, I realized that uh, there was still a conflict for trains entering and exiting the station if they were going back this way. So I also made a link back to the main line bypassing this junction. Now that means that any trains coming from this way can still get into the station without having to wait. And these trains uh, can keep on going and inbound trains don't conflict. Of course, the trains can also still reverse at the station and go straight back. But in times of congestion, it doubles at least the capacity of this whole operation. That left me with the problem of uh, this road here which now had two rail crossings on it. Now the solution I came up with was to elevate it all the way across and then elevate this connector as a ramp and that allows the rest of this whole operation to continue working. I also did some expansion of the uh, zoning in this area and uh, let it run and let the population grow a bit. So as you can see, there's a fair bit of development up here and there's still some abandoned buildings which is annoying but uh, you know what what can you do in a real city there's always going to be a few as well uh, though I would prefer if they weren't you know also when I did this I had to move these two solar stations out of the way of this uh, track loop anyway um, by solving the traffic problems and the train flow problems here I've actually reduced further the traffic in here and uh, the connections up this way have also helped. 
and that means that uh, traffic all around is flowing better uh, though there is still a fair bit in here I don't think that will ever go away I also in this area I I think I did some uh, transit work as well yes I did a little bit of transit work as well um, which uh, as you can see if this wasn't in there before you can see it's in there now so um, that's basically it for the uh, original part 9 I intended to uh, record um, so um, as things stand you didn't really miss much it was more of the same it was fairly boring and uh, you know just really involved a lot of renovation of existing uh, city and this little bit of extension here um, I think I, I also acquired these two uh, plots for the city um, I can't remember for sure if I did that in part in the part 9 or if I did it before in part 8 um, now as far as the milestones go I'm headed for a metropolis I have to hit 70,000 for that I'm not there yet so um, I believe the step after that is megalopolis so uh, we'll see anyway uh, so that's that's it for my original part nine and instead of just going through all that and then continuing on with another batch of city development I'm going to let this part stand as a monument to my own uh, incompetence in uh, setting everything up and uh, say you know uh, I'm I guess I'm sorry for messing up if you were looking forward to another hour of tedious city building. Uh, you're not going to get it this time. Um, I can say that the next part will be out uh, not too long after this one. So this uh, few minute uh, summary uh, shouldn't be too much of a uh, downer for you. I should say that uh, uh, I do uh, really appreciate the uh, work that Colossal Order has put into this game and the uh, amazing support it's had since the release with the uh, patch patches that have been released and the fact that even though their 1.0.7b patch release caused so much trouble for so many people they left it available as a beta is it does seem to run a little bit better on my system so I do appreciate it still being available okay so with that said uh, this has been the uh, replacement recap of part 9 and I'll see everybody for part 10 thank you for watching